Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Well today's video is entitled, How to Make an Online Tobacco Order. Alright, before we get started, I want to do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, I'm smoking a Savinelli Porto Cuervo 121. Um, I really like this style of pipe, it's my uh, absolute favorite. I think the reason I like it so much is because of this gold, two gold bands here with um, the contrasting uh, briar wood uh, against the dark rustication. And I like the, I like the way it's rusticated. Uh, it's my favorite line and um, uh, this one I just recently picked up so I'm really enjoying it. Out of it, I'm smoking some Dunhill's Durbar. Uh, I, I picked I just picked this up as well and um, it's uh, it's uh, coming to be one of my my favorite blends all right so we're gonna get ready to make a tobacco order um, first of all um, I usually order from uh, three different online sites uh, smokingpipes.com pipes and cigars.com and cup of joes i usually go through each one of those to find out which tobaccos that i need or supplies that i need uh, today we're going to be using uh, smokingpipes.com as our model because that's where i usually purchase most of my tobaccos and supplies all right the first thing that you need to do before you even go online is take an inventory of what you need. Uh, take an inventory of what tobaccos you need um, and any other supplies that you feel that you might need that they offer. Uh, I'll give you some examples like if you use uh, a uh, pipe lighter to light your pipe, um, you're going to need some butane. Check to make sure you have plenty of butane. They also take flints. Make sure that you have plenty of flints. Um, check tools. Uh, sometimes I leave them behind. I, I lose them ever so often, so I check to make sure at least I have two to four on hand. Um, but you understand what I'm talking about. Just do an inventory of everything that you use to smoke your pipe. It may, it may not just be the pipe and tobacco. There's other things that go along with it. So take an inventory to make sure that you don't need any of those items. Now we're going to use smokingpipes.com today as our model because they have a $95 threshold when it comes to ordering tobacco and supplies. At $95 or over, you do not have to pay shipping. And I don't know what it is, but I just, I can't stand to order like $25 worth of tobacco and have to pay that $8 shipping. I could take that $8 and buy another tin of tobacco. So I try to save my money in between orders to where when I get ready to order more tobacco and supplies, I have at least $100 I can apply to that. Now, um, if you don't have that kind of money and, and you're forced to just buy a tin or two at a time, then, um, then by all means do that and uh, you'll just have to pay the shipping. So let's use the $95 as a threshold. All right, I'm just going to pick out four random tobaccos or three random tobaccos that you may need. Um, let's say that you need a Durbar, Elizabethan mixture, and Escudo. Uh, you're running low on those tobaccos and you want to resupply. So you put one of each of those into the queue. Well, you find out that you're at $30. And that's really all the tobacco you need. You don't need you know everything else you're pretty much stocked up on well as we all know uh, as long as you keep the tobacco in the tin it's vacuum sealed and it will stay fresh so go ahead and add one of each instead of one Elizabethan now you're ordering two add order two Durbar or uh, order two Escudo or three Escudo um, and one Elizabethan and two Durbar. It's just up to you. Just um, order a little bit more than what you would normally order 
of those three tobaccos to get get the cost or get the amount up in the $60 range or so. Now, let's say that you need some butane. Throw a bottle of butane in there. You need some flints, throw some of that in there and put in a check tool or two, a check tool or two. Uh, now let's say that we're at, at $75. If you are a type of person that likes to sell or tobacco, uh, then I would suggest that you go and find out what tobacco you really like and that you want, you want a seller that blend. So um, let's say that um, we want a seller some uh, Solani aged burley flake. Then order 10 of that in the uh, so that you, when you get it, you can put it in your cellar and in two or three years you can pop it open and have a nice age tin of tobacco. Um, so now we're, let's say 90, let's say we're at $85. This I cannot stress enough. You are always going to use pipe cleaners. So add at least two packages of your favorite pipe cleaners to your order. Every order, make sure and order more pipe cleaners because that's the worst thing. If you make an order and they send you a notification saying it's on its way and you realize you don't have any pipe cleaners and this is the only way you have to get pipe cleaners, you're going to have to go right back in and make another order. So make sure that you check those and make sure that you have enough. Even if you have enough, even if you've got 10 packages, go ahead and throw a couple in there. They're always going to be used, and, and you want to make sure that you never run out. All right, let's say that we're, I don't know, $85, $87. We still have a few more dollars to go. What I would suggest that you, is that you go look at their bulk tobacco sales. Now, most online tobacconists, sell bulk tobaccos an ounce at a time. So uh, most of their bulk tobaccos are sold anywhere from $2.50 to $5. So let's say that you've been doing some YouTube video, looking at some YouTube videos, and you a lot of people have been talking about this blend or that blend, how great it is, and you'd like to give it a try. You find out, sure enough, they've got that in bulk. So order two or three, depending on how far you have to go to get to that $95 threshold, two or three one ounce bulk blends of tobacco that you've never tried. That way you have something different to try, something that you can, um, that you can try out to see if you like. If you like, then you can order more the next time you order. If you don't like it, you've only ordered an ounce of it. So it, you're not wasting, uh, you know, ten, twelve dollars on a full ten of this tobacco, uh, and now you don't like it. So what are you going to do with the rest? Um, so ordering it one ounce at a time. If you like it, you can order more. If you don't, you haven't spent a lot of money on a blend that you don't like. Well, now we're at that ninety-five. Let's say you're at ninety-seven dollars. There you go. You've got the tobacco that you need. You've got the supplies that you need. You've got more pipe cleaners coming. You've got a tobacco to add to your cellar. And you've got two or three bulk blend, one ounce bulk blends coming that you've never tried. And you can check them out and see if they're worth buying more later. Um, that's a well-rounded order uh, of tobaccos, supplies, tobacco for your cellar, and a couple of new blends that you've never tried. All right, well, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope it was instructive. I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would also appreciate that as well. So until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.